Hi everybody, this is Hannah from becomingwhoyouare.net. This is part three in a series on the book, The Empowerment Dynamic by, no, that's not the title of the book, The Power of Ted, and <laughs> Ted stands for The Empowerment Dynamic by David Emerald. If you've watched the previous two videos, we've already looked at what he calls the victim orientation and what he calls the creator orientation. And if you've watched the previous video in particular, hopefully you've already started to notice in your own life where these two different orientations are showing up. In this video, we're going to talk more about how to make the shift from victim to creator. This shift occurs in two planes, intrapersonal, which is changing the way we view ourselves, and interpersonal, which is changing the way we view situations, circumstances, and conditions in life. Notice that there is nothing in there about other people or situations changing. One of the key aspects of the creator orientation is self-responsibility and the principle that you can only change yourself. If we want to change something about our lives or our relationships, we need to do or relate to that thing differently rather than expect or wait for it to change. There are three key shifts that need to happen to move from victim to creator, which are best summarized in the acronym AIR which stands for attention, intention, and results. A, attention, is a shift in focus. You might remember from the first video that when we're in the victim orientation, we focus on our problems. Creators, on the other hand, are focused on their vision and what they want to create, and on making sure that this is for the highest good and won't bring harm to anyone else. David Emerald says that to live as a creator, we need to do inner work to find our sense of purpose and passion, whatever touches our heart and holds meaning for us. I, intention, is about motivation. You might also remember that creators are motivated by wanting to get away from problems and act with the intention of alleviating their anxiety around those problems. Creators, on the other hand, are motivated by wanting to turn their vision into real life outcomes. In very basic terms, they focus on what they do want rather than on what they don't. Finally, results is about the outcome of our attention and intention. People living in the victim orientation go for immediate short-term results and, as we looked at before, often stop action once they no longer feel anxious about the problem without actually solving the problem itself. Remember, it's like taking a painkiller for a recurring headache without stopping to look at the underlying source. Creators, on the other hand, go for sustainable baby steps and long-lasting results over time. They are proactive rather than reactive and recognize that the everyday things we do lead to the manifestation of the outcomes we desire most. With anything we want to create in our lives, we'll experience something called dynamic tension. This describes a tension between what is and what can be, and it's the primary creative force behind the manifestation of any outcome. We experience this tension whatever orientation we're in, and whatever orientation we're in, this tension causes anxiety. It begs to be resolved. So living life in the creator orientation isn't about never experiencing anxiety or discomfort. Instead, it's about how we respond to it and the choice we make in the face of that tension and anxiety. To illustrate this concept of dynamic tension, I'm going to use the highly sophisticated prop of a rubber band. So let's say that my thumb is point A, which is our current reality, and my four fingers are point B, which is our vision or the outcome that we want to manifest. This part is the right now very real <laughs> dynamic tension between those two points. This is the thing that's begging to be resolved and that causes us the anxiety. And it can be resolved in one of two ways. The first way of resolving the tension and the path that most of us take is to bring our vision closer to our current reality. The second approach is to hold on to our vision and move our current reality towards that. Can you guess which approach is victim and which is creator? If you watched the first video in this series, you'll remember how David Emerald says that at the core of every person in victim orientation is what he describes as the psychic death of a dream. This is what happens when we choose to resolve dynamic tension by moving our vision closer to our reality instead of the other way around. He sums up the result of this with another powerful phrase. You can't invest your soul in a compromise. 
If we want to find passion, purpose and meaning in our lives, compromising our vision isn't the answer. It is, however, the easiest and most immediate reaction to this dynamic tension, which is why we need to be conscious about how we respond to obstacles and challenges. The second option for resolving this tension, which is based within the creator orientation, involves taking baby steps towards our vision and asking ourselves questions like, what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? What would I want, have, do or become if absolutely anything were possible? Even if our vision is totally impossible in its current form, for example, if I decide I want to become a six foot professional rugby player, I can still ask myself, how can I get to the closest expression of that vision? At the end of the day, every choice we make and every step we take either brings us closer to or takes us further away from what we intend to create. We can embrace the creator orientation by choosing what we feel called cool to create and taking steps towards that vision. We can also embrace the creator orientation by choosing how to respond to the people, events and situations that show up in our lives as a conscious response. If you've watched up to this point and you've enjoyed these ideas, I highly, highly recommend checking out the book, The Power of Ted by David Emerald, where Ted stands for the empowerment dynamic, which is what we've been talking about here. He goes into a lot more detail about victim orientation, creator orientation, how to shift between the two and provides some helpful questions and practices that we can all use in our lives to be more conscious about how we respond to the world. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Please feel free to reach out with any questions you have and you can do that and check out my other work at becomingwhoyouare.net. I hope you have a lovely day.